All right, guys and gals. So I got an idea here <clears throat> of one of the next projects or one of the projects to do this summer. The front of my office, washroom, whatever you want to call it, shop entry has never been finished, as you can see. And I want to get rid of those windows up there because they really don't help with heating the shop. I like them being there, but they don't help. What I'm thinking about doing is raising this washroom roof up to, to match the roof line with everything else. And that will raise this front wall up another, well, I don't know, I think it's two and a half, three feet, anyhow. And then I'm not going to have this as much overhang here. So not as much of this wall is going to be shadowed. Um, but what I'm thinking about doing, being this isn't finished, um, I'm thinking about building a solar passive heater on the front of this for during the winter when the sun is shining. Um, get some heat credits off of it. Um, but if you, right now it is 17 degrees, the sun is shining on this wall, and this is just OSB board. But if I take my perometer here, you can see it's 117 degrees just with black, or just with plywood, and it's nice and warm to the touch. Um, <clears throat> but now if you go and shine on this piece of metal, which is actually getting 65 degrees, um, you can see it's 22 there. It's the concrete. Concrete's 54. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm thinking is when I raise this roof up, I'm going to come out with like 2 by 6s and I'm going to put either black plastic or paint the wall black. Um, come out with 2 by 6s and then use like eave lighting or polycarbonate to make an air space in there. And then I'm just going to cut air vents in the bottom and air vents in the top so air can circulate on its own. Um, to heat the shop or the washroom um, Really if it heats the washroom, it's gonna heat the shop <clears throat> and or the other idea was um, To put vents along the bottom and then make it so it you can put a like a fan out of um, Like a bathroom fan there to, to blow heat into the shop so it would help suck more heat out of here uh, just something I was been thinking about and I saw some uh, videos of other people who are doing it, and you know not every day you're not going to get anything out of it, but days like today, if there's you know a couple hundred square feet of <clears throat> wall that's absorbing heat blowing in the shop, the, the heater may not turn on at all in there during a day like today. So and being this needs to be redone anyways. Um, might as well try and design it so I can do something like that where it's dual purpose. Uh, <clears throat> just let me know what you guys think, if you think that would work or not. Um, obviously when I redo it, I'm probably going to move the windows so the windows are on the outside of the polycarbonate. Um, and just extend my window, my window frames or my window sills or whatever you want to call it out all the way so you're not really losing much heat out of them. And that way, like underneath where the windows are, that heat, I'm sure, will, will travel around the bottom of the window, but anything else is going to absorb up into the bottom of the windowsill, you know, and warm the windowsill up. Um, but if I can get this roof line up to match that roof line and then don't come out as far, so as much as much of it sees sunlight as possible, um, I don't know, it's not going to cost that much. The polycarbonate is going to cost some money and the 2 by 6s but... I mean, a guy could just put black plastic on there to absorb the sunlight. Um, <clears throat> so it wouldn't cost that much, and really, with what it, with the heat units that it would save in one year, would probably pay for the pay for the building of it. Um, I don't know. Just something I've been thinking about. Just a way to try and cut some costs on heating and stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you all think about that. Um, please comment. Hit the thumbs up down by the subscribe button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, guys.